Hello lovely people, it's Hila here from Saturday Night Stitch and today I'm sharing with you how I like to make my magazine storage caddies. So as you know, I've got five kids so we tend to buy things in bulk and so we get a lot of these old milk boxes that I just hated throwing out. So I stumbled upon an idea to use them as uh, storage boxes for my sewing patterns and for my sewing magazines and I've been using these for years. In fact there's a video that I did early on when I was a baby YouTuber where you can see how I store my patterns. But as the years have gone by I have gone a bit more fashion with how I use these boxes. So for instance in this particular project which I did the other day I had this wrapping paper which was from a Christmas gift that was given to me um, this past Christmas and I just I really loved that wrapping paper so I saved it and the funny story behind this wrapping paper as well is that um, it was my sister who gave us the present and she had been given a present that was wrapped in this paper and she loved it so much she had saved it and she was waiting for you know the right moment to reuse it and I saw the paper and I was like oh my gosh I love this so much so I was very careful during Christmas when I was opening the present not to rip up the paper because I was like I need to reuse this somehow at first I was going to use it on a folder because uh, I use these old wrapping papers to fashion up my really old binders that I've had for decades but I just make them look fresh by wrapping them in either wallpaper samples or old wrapping paper that I like the design of. So for this um, one I then changed my mind and I decided that I was going to make it for one of my sewing magazines because as you know I'm doing uh, sewing with vintage burden magazines and so my collection has been expanding at more than one new magazine per month which is what was happening before with my subscription and so you can see there it's sped up it's really quite simple and it doesn't take a lot of time to do either this was me just filling up about 20 minutes of uh, downtime well it wasn't so much downtime but I just decided to prioritize this and that was because the magazines needed to be uh, put away but this takes about 20 minutes to do in total so I just use the glue to stick everything down and then I will reinforce with uh, cello tape these aren't caddies that are going to experience heavy duty use it's just that I want my magazines to be sitting in something pretty when I open up the uh, cupboard where they live in. So I just want to point out there that sewing, you know, your sewing room organization, it doesn't have to be expensive at all. You can reuse old boxes. In fact, a lot of my uh, PDF patterns are in these old nappy boxes because we used to buy diapers in bulk when the kids were younger. Um, I do need to fashion those up so I'll definitely do a project where I fashion those up but it's also really nice aesthetically to see these uh, pretty patterns. As you know I'm quite a vis visual person and I do like opening my cupboard and seeing all of these uh, bright and beautiful prints and it just adds to the inspiration um, of the whole process of the whole craft and how much I enjoy it and I got the concept when I first read um, Marie Kondo's The Life Magic Art of Tidying Up and in it she was saying that everything that we have carries an energy and when you've got things that you love to look at it's a beautiful positive energy in whatever space you're in in and so I do before I read that I didn't used to bother with wrapping up the boxes because I was just like it's utilitarian it's fine but there's definitely something to be said about just you know doing little things to make things look uh, prettier for you so this is my favorite part when it's finished and I can put in my magazines and those are my vintage uh, Berta magazines from the 
2000s yes those are the early 2000s and now they've got a lovely home that protects them from dust and from sunlight damage because i don't keep my magazines out in the open i keep them in a cupboard because i also don't like dust i'm asthmatic so i try and do things that avoid dust settling on things that i use regularly and there we have it guys a very pretty to look at magazine storage caddy for your precious sewing magazines and doesn't it look lovely i also had a little bit of help uh, with it and i'm just going to show you right now that's where my magazines stay in a cupboard out of sunlight out of dust way Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the post, that you found it informative and useful. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up down below. And remember to subscribe for new sewing related content every single week. And until I see you next time, happy sewing. Bye.